continue to rest in the Lord, in his presence. There's no rest but in Christ. Amen. The rest he gives doesn't come in a bottle. Right. It don't come in philosophical things. But it comes in the person of Christ. Person. For he is our rest. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus is Lord. Well, let's open up the Holy Scriptures today to the Psalms. And we want to look at number 71, if you please. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Now, I had a word. Yeah, I'll read it, and uh, I think I'll be able to explain what I'm saying. But not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Amen. We're looking at Psalm number 71, and we're looking at verse 17. Amen. We need to declare this praise break morning. The Lord remind me that life comes out of death. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> verse 17. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I touched that 220 this morning. <laughs> At Galatians 220. <laughs> Don't mess with Galatians 220 now. <laughs> it put that, all that flesh to rest. <laughs> it's shouting time now. <laughs> oh, okay, let me sober up here. All right. Oh God, thou hast taught me from my youth. Somebody should have said amen. Bishop, I was telling Haley when I was her age, I was begging God for mercy and didn't even know nothing about it. All right. I would, if I saw a bug on their back, I'd turn them over and say, maybe God have mercy on me. All right. Didn't even know nothing about the mercy of God. Never heard a message from God like that. I knew there was a hell. Nobody never preached to me about it. But I, whatever I knew about it, whatever the Holy Ghost showed me, I didn't want to go there. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Oh God. God. Thank you. Thank you. Thou hast taught me from my youth. And hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now, this next passage is for those who have been continuing in that what they learn. From their youth. Amen. All right. Glory to God. Forever. It looks like that's about everybody in here. Right. Okay. Verse 18. Now also. Now also. Can we say now also? Now also. Mm. When I am old. All right. And gray headed. Right. Ooh wee. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't forget about the old and gray-headed ministry. All right. Amen. We get lots of days ago, you know. Uh, this is not my season, you know. Let these young people have it. I'm old and gray-headed now. Glory to God. But that's not what I heard yesterday. We got to continue to fight the good fight of faith. Uh-huh. Right. right? Is that what we heard? We got to keep fighting. Not give it up. And here we find that here's a petition to help us. Oh, yeah, now also when I am old and gray headed, oh God, forsake me not. All right. All right. Don't forsake me. In other words, do what you got to do so I can stay in the not forsaken ministry. You see. I don't want to be one that you have to forsake. He said, forsake me not until I have shown thy strength unto this generation. Right. Well, come on, talk to me now. Hallelujah now. Oh, yeah. Don't leave me to myself. Not until I've shown thy strength unto this generation. Come on now. Thank you. 
and thy power to everyone that is to come. Come on now. See, don't forsake me till that happens. Oh, God, please have mercy on me. I done got old and gray-headed now. You taught me from the youth now. Don't let me get crazy when I get 70. Talking about I need a vacation. <laughs> I'm old now. Let me go sit down and read. and go. Let me go catch up on my fishing. God forbid. Amen. We saying, this is what the Lord is saying to us and to me. <laughs> Glory to God. When I'm an old and gray-headed, O oh God, forsake me not until I have shown thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O oh God, is very high, who has done great things. O oh God, who is like unto thee? Thou hast shown me great and sore troubles. Shall uh, sore troubles shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Hallelujah. I will also praise thee with the psaltery. Uh, amen. And, and even thy truth, O oh my God, until thee oh, oh my god until thee will i sing with the harp O thou holy one of israel my lips shall rejoice my my lips shall greatly rejoice when i sing unto thee no more of this the two-step singing amen Glory. lord don't leave me like that don't forsake me to that condition Glory to God. And my soul which thou hast redeemed. I want a soul that hopes in God. All the way till he called me. Or till I see him like no man has seen him. Amen. Glory to God. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long. long. Uh oh, come on now. All day long. All day long. We, we're not going to let people. Uh, now I was getting to the point that said, well, I'm almost 70. Now I'm just going to tell the truth like it is. I can't. I done learned now if you sweeten it up, you just mess it up. Right. Just tell it like it is. Uh huh. Just tell them the truth. Amen. They'll be all right. The truth will set them free. Amen. Don't try to shield them from the truth. Tell them the truth. All day long. Tell them how the Lord taught me and you to do the right thing the right way. Tell them that from a baby we learn that it's better to walk in righteousness than unrighteousness. Give them the lessons of how the Lord taught us that it's better to do the right thing the right way. Don't do don't take no chance to just leap out there and see it all come out in the wash. That's philosophy. That ain't Christology. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long if you don't forsake me. Don't leave me. Amen. For they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. So I just want to encourage this morning based upon what I heard yesterday, encourage myself. Now look here. We need to be stronger now than we was when we were in our 20s. And those of you in your 20s, you got to be stronger now than you was when you was in your 19s. <laughs> right. right. Glory to God. We don't want to be forsaken. God has to forsake us because we, 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 we got a seared conscience. We got leanness in our soul. We like the king, the servant who the king's hand depend on. Depending on said, this wouldn't happen if the windows of heaven would open up. You see, we don't, 
We're not believing believers. We didn't look for the grace of God and we're bitter. Now, uh -huh. troubling ourselves and defiling others. You see, the Lord said, don't let us come to that state. What did God mean to forsake you? Why was he praying for that like that? You know, I was sharing with you before when I was in your presence that, you know, we can just keep tempting God and provoking him, you see. Refusing to fellowship with him. Refusing to study the word. Refusing to pray. Refusing to cry out for mercy to do the right thing the right way. All right. You see. And then one day, God will just give you up to that which you refuse to give up for him. You see. Because they refuse to retain God in their knowledge. God did what? He gave them over. He'll give you what you want. You 75 and you still got youthful lust. You know what? I'm finna let you go. Oh, you thought you messed up. When God lets you go, you, 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 when he do come back for you, you going to say, I didn't know I would do all of that. He'll give you over to the thing. You, you, you don't want to pray. You don't want to read your Bible. You don't want to commune with me. You don't want to retain me in your knowledge. I bless you, made you. And then you don't want to retain me in your knowledge. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll just give you over to the thing you want to. You want to live unclean and nasty and filthy. You, you want to curse and, 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 and sing like the devil and walk like the devil. And I made you holy. He'll just say, you know what, Pastor? Look, go and be unclean. And you, we'll find ourselves, uh, uh, if that's the case, in so much wickedness, we'll be inventors of wicked, wicked deeds. We'll, we'll find ourselves in some kind of shape that we never would have thought. We'll be a hiss and a byword. Right. Say, don't do like Pastor did. What does he do? He refused to come the morning prayer. He kept saying, it don't take all that. All right. uh -huh. But the apostles met daily. They, they, met daily. they were always going to prayer. prayer. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Paul said he prayed without ceasing. Season, Glory to God. Hallelujah. I only prayed when it's 911, when, when, when they got the, a, a tow truck to my car. Then I want to pray. You see what I'm saying? God said, no, you worship that car. You did what you wanted with it. Didn't want no saints in it and, and everything. He said, I just give it up. Now you hold on to it. I gave it to you by grace. Amen. Amen. So God is not trying to use me this morning to make us feel bad. God don't need that. He, he don't need that. He got enough grace and love to overcome that. The scripture say, when we show out, God be good to you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He, his goodness leads us to repentance. God will come give you two or three pay raises. And you'll be wondering about, man, I've been living like this and God is blessing me. I've been living like this and God is blessing me. See, the goodness of God will turn you over to that foolishness that we want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to be a TikTok queen? God said, all right, you go ahead. Uh huh. You want to be Mr. Macho? You want to have all the latest sounds, the latest liquors, and the latest? You want to be up on the latest drugs, and you want to know all they say? All right, old man, I'm gonna turn you over to that. I called you to uh, have living water. That's why God is saying to us this morning: we need to pray, especially those of us that got gray hair. We always on the youth, but God is on the gray head. All right, thank you. you see what I'm saying? Y'all right. need to straighten up. Y'all, listen, these gray head folks need to straighten up around here. Bishop, okay, thank you. <laughs> That's what it said. Now, also, when I am when I am old and gray headed, oh God, forsake me not. <laughs> 
Keep working with me. <laughs> Have mercy on me. Keep digging around me. <laughs> Don't leave me like this. Until I have shown thy strength unto this generation. That means we got to keep on preaching. We got to keep on teaching. Amen. Ain't no time I let the young people teach. We, we, all, we, should, we all should be teaching, having Bible study. We should all be ready to travel. We, 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 we got to get with it. Ain't none of this because I got gray hair. Oh, oh I, I can't go like I used to. Ask God not to forsake you today. <laughs> <laughs> My old knees don't work like they used to. Pray for them. <laughs> don't, for, don't you forsake your knees because you done took them everywhere and did everything with them now. <laughs> now you want to talk about your old bum knees. No, it was old bum you. They did what you asked them to. You said, now you got to pray for them knees, Lord. Sanctify my knees. Let me still move. Amen. <laughs> You know, I'm talking about old baby, uh, old baby, come help grandma get on up here. Oh, no, we're not going for that. Say, Lord, don't forsake us to that. Not to that. Hallelujah. <laughs> help us, Lord. Amen. Now, I was reading with, uh, I showed it to Bishop. I was excited about it. He said, I'm glad to see you. You're coming on board now. Amen. And uh, it says in, uh, I believe it's Exodus 33. Uh, Exodus 33. We're just trying to encourage one another today. Okay. We're not trying to get deep. We just want to encourage us to keep on coming on because you got to watch it when you get old and gray-headed and that you be at the back of the trail. All right, back of the trail. See, the Malachites, they hung out there at the back. They tried to knock off the old, the weak, the feeble. And that's why God was mad at them. That's why he told Saul, you make sure you wipe out all of them. Isn't that what he told him? So I don't want them on the earth no more because when you were when you were leaving out of Egypt, they would hang out in the back and, 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 and attack the weak and the elderly and the gray headed who, 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 who succumbed to feebleness and they couldn't keep up with the rest of them. You see. You got to ask God to help you keep up. You can't be talking about I'm old now, my days have come to an end and all that old kind of stuff. You gotta, we got to pray ask God to help us keep up. We got to be just as strong at the end as they are at the front. The, the men need to fear the end as much as they fear. The, you run up on me if you want to. <laughs> I, I see 80 year old year old women whip them young boys, try to get that purse. He went to kicking on him and, and working on him and worked him and worked him. He let that purse go. <laughs> Ain't none of this old stuff on people. At the end, see, he had two million people he was moving. You see? The soldiers couldn't run back there. Somebody should have been preaching revival back there. Let's do exercise. Let's get strengthened. Let's. That's what we have to do. Amen. Old gray-headed ones. <laughs> oh, I know if the hoary head has found the way of righteousness. I know that scripture, but we talking about those who, who, who think that because we gray-headed now we can sit down. That's when the devil come looking for you. All right. All right. He wasn't up there with them mighty warriors up front. He said, I know them old gray heads back there, they weak, they, they can't do nothing. Let's knock them off. You see what I'm saying? Boy, will they be surprised when they come looking for us. Because, boy, we're going to be like one of them Kung Fu movies. You, you messed up because God taught my fingers how to fight and my hands how to war. Oh, come on now. Oh, you, got, you messed with the wrong one. It's going to be a whipping. <laughs> That's why we in spiritual warfare. You see what I'm saying? We can't relax because we're old and think we done made it. No, sir. That's not our prayer. Amen. Amen. Our prayers keep us going Amen. until we have shown this generation 
thy strength. Hallelujah. In thy power. Oh, glory to God. Work with me, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Well, I had another scripture for you, but my time is coming gone. Uh, I have to say before another time. <laughs> hallelujah. hallelujah. Can the gray hair say hallelujah? <laughs> well, you don't have to be a gray head. You can make the application now. Amen. <laughs> but we're talking to the gray heads today. <laughs> Glory to God. All right. Bishop, anything you would like to add, sir? <laughs> <laughs> you know, by the time we get the gray hair, uh, even though that had, you know color back in there, you know, it's gray under there. Uh -huh. You know, <clears throat> we should. I wrote it down. We we should have learned to listen intently you know some people when they get older they they have this I know what he's talking about let me my mind is on something else and I, I got other concerns but we should learn to listen to the word of God Amen. intently and then we need to communicate honestly. We need to be honest in our communication. We don't, we don't need to be putting out there just what we want people to hear, but what's